Hello, my soccer universe, for some Europa League predictions. Well, I'm not as well equipped for the Europa League semi finals as I am for the Champions League semi finals, although I have jerseys of three of the teams which are hanging behind me. We have Arsenal, we have Valencia, I have Chelsea hanging there. I am wearing the fourth one that I have, which is the other Chelsea jersey, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm supporting Chelsea in that one. For Frankfurt, and I'm hiding it through my head most of the time, I have, a ger I have the, my Germany shirt hanging there. It has, like Frankfurt and Eagle up there, the DFB, the German Football Federation, has its headquarters in Frankfurt, so maybe this makes a little bit of sense, but yeah, it's just a placeholder. I was actually thinking the only other black shirt that I, I mean, Frankfurt plays at home in black for whatever reason that I have is the Austrian and yes there's an Austrian coach but it doesn't quite feel right. Let me just the light here a little bit yes now I think it looks a little bit better. So going back this is what I'm hanging what's hanging there. Not gonna make this a uh, super long video um, but yeah let's see how I feel these games are going. Um, first they play the same time, but the uh, um, first game is Arsenal against Valencia, which a few weeks ago was more exciting than it is now, because both of these teams are losing games left and right, Arsenal even more so than Valencia. Valencia uh, won, but you know they're also hitting a little bit of skids. It seems that they're both aware that this is the game that will eventually decide who, um, they, you know, this is the best chance of a Champions League spot, so the, the league is not as important to them anymore, which for Arsenal is ridiculous, also a little bit for Valencia, but Valencia has the tougher road. Ar Arsenal, I thought, was in very good shape uh, for that. Um, it is really hard for me. This game is a little bit of a toss-up. I always have preferred a little bit Valencia. I mean, the big prospect of this Europa League season is that Arsenal is playing Chelsea in the final with Spurs joining them and having three London teams in uh, European finals or even two completely English finals. Um, I don't quite see it that way though. I think that the game uh, at the, em the Emirates, um, I was about to say Highbury. It should be hybrid. <laughs> it's not. Uh, hybrid hy 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 doesn't exist anymore. By the way, this jersey I got at Highbury, at the original Highbury, so I'm very happy about that. Similar like this Stamford Bridge. This was bought at Stamford Bridge, those two I got recently. So yeah, uh, those are old jerseys, actually, quite nice ones. Um, but yeah, I don't see them matching uh, up. I mean, Valencia is not as. Um, much of a surprise bag as is Sevilla. So Valencia was drawing games left and right towards the beginning of the season, then the starters started winning, and now they're hitting a little bit of a rough patch. I actually think that Valencia could get a 1 1 draw and will ground out a 0 0 away at the Mestalla. So, uh, for Arsenal away. So, in the return leg. So, I say 1 1 Arsenal. Uh, Valencia at, uh, at, in London and 0-0 uh, away. Frankfurt Chelsea is a uh, completely different. Also, um, Frankfurt has been in the league a little bit shaky in form, uh, but they have this typical Red Bull play thanks to Adi Hütter's uh, coaching. Very much high press um, going forward, um, attacking the opponent and then having actually quite some dangerous players up front. Um, in Kostic and Rebic, so um, there is some firepower behind there, and they have an amazing fan base behind them. Although they, you know, it's it's one of those uh, cocktails that can boil over at any time. Chelsea in the Europa League has nothing been sort short of sensational. Very getting their results wasn't always pretty, but they have been consistently winning, and it was clear that there's a clear focus on that competition. Um, I somewhat would like that Frankfurt, and it's weird that I say this for Germany, but uh, there is some, um, how to say, I have some sympathy for Frankfurt, but I think that Chelsea is a way too um, hardened team 
to get really derailed by Frankfurt. Although, you know, Frankfurt plays a similar style to Liverpool. Um, I would say at home, Frankfurt probably will uh, surprise Chelsea and maybe gets a 2-1 win. Away from home, I see um, Chelsea putting in the performance, getting a 2-0 win. So I'm saying a Valencia-Chelsea final um, with a slight edge for Chelsea. Maybe they grind out a 1-0 win and Chelsea would win the uh, Europa League. Remains to be seen. I am very curious about that. Um, it could go either way. I think they're also very well matched. And I think those four teams overall are evenly matched. But I think Chelsea is the strongest one in there. Valencia, Arsenal, probably level. And then Frankfurt, although Frankfurt has been doing quite well. Well, let me know how you think the games will will be going. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And now I have to look where I can get some additional jerseys for my videos on these teams. That's the way it goes. Anyway, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.